So I'm here with Dalton Bargo, transfer catcher for the University of Tennessee. Dalton, appreciate you stopping in today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so first off, you know, mentioned you transferred in, your previous stop Missouri uh, as a freshman. Uh, what was the transition like for you going from high school ball and playing SEC level baseball as a freshman? Uh, it definitely took a lot, of, a lot of time and a lot of patience, I'd say. Uh, completely different level of talent uh, from the two levels. And I mean, the biggest thing for me was just getting the experience and getting some at-bats under my belt. And the big thing, the biggest thing was probably learning from the older guys and kind of taking everything in and learning to be myself and not try to be someone who isn't me. And that's how I uh, found a lot of success. Yeah, and you mentioned that success, um, you know, hit nearly 280 as a freshman and stuff. You know, what, what were some things you were taking with you in your at-bats uh, in Columbia? A lot of it was just slowing the game down because, I mean, the college game moves at a completely different pace and is a completely different level than the high school game. And, I mean, just slowing everything down and kind of staying within myself and being my own person and keeping with my approach. Yeah, and then, yeah, that approach continued to do you well, went and played summer ball. Can you kind of explain what uh, the league was you played in and kind of how it worked? Yeah, so I was in the uh, Appalachian League over the summer, which is kind of, it's uh, ran by the MLB. And um, it's kind of set up like the minor leagues. So you play six days out of the week and you get one off day and you're on a bus every day traveling or you're at home and you're at the clubhouse from 12 to 9 p.m., 10 p.m. at night. And I mean, it was, it was a grind for sure, but I, it definitely helped me as a player. And, you know, getting those extra at-bats and getting some more innings in the field, uh, was really great and it was a great experience for me over the summer. Yeah, and you know, you played in Bristol and so the manager over there was Bill Kinneberg, longtime yep. coach at Utah. What was it like playing for him? Uh, it was awesome. He was a great coach and a lot of knowledge and he was, you can definitely tell that he's been around the game for a while and it was great learning from him and kind of, you know, developing a little bit more and getting some more experience on, uh, from him. Yeah, and then, you know, you mentioned experience got selected as an Happy League All-Star. You know, what was the experience like going over to Kingsport for that and just like, what can you can kind of attribute to your success um, in the Appalachian League over the summer? Oh yeah, the All-Star game was, it was awesome. It was great atmosphere, both for the uh, event day, which was like a home run derby and kind of a skills competition. And then for the game, especially the atmosphere was insane. Um, I mean, it was it was a great experience getting to play with a bunch of different guys from a different bunch of college teams and teams around the league. And, you know, something that really helped me get to that point was kind of just taking my experience that I had playing in the SEC as a freshman and just kind of rolling with that and staying true to who I was as a player. And that helped me um, with a lot of success that I had this summer. Yeah, and then any, outside maybe that game, were there any particular moments that stand out to you uh, up in the Appy over the summer? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say any particular moments, but just like the overall experience in general. I mean, played with a lot of great guys over the summer from a lot of different colleges and a lot of different personalities and made a lot of new connections. And I feel like that was the biggest thing for me over the summer was just making those new connections with a bunch of co coaches and players. And speaking of new, um, I see a new place here in the fall here at the University of Tennessee. What, what drew you to uh, UT in the baseball program? Um, I mean, obviously the success they've had in the past few years, and I'm a winner, and I, I want to compete, and I want to come win, and um, the coaching staff is what really drew me in. Uh, Coach Vitello is running a great ship over here, and I wanted to become part of it, and um, I feel like there's no greater uh, catching and hitting coach in the league than Coach Elander, and I feel like f as far as development, there's going to be no place better for me than here. Yeah, and it kind of went what I had idealized for my next question. You know, Coach Vitello, Coach Elander, how long have you known them? Like, what's the relationship been like uh, between you and, and the staff? Uh, I didn't uh, really meet them until over the summer when they were recruiting me out of the transfer portal. and um, But it was like an instant connection. It wasn't really – how do I say this? Um, I mean, it was a smooth connection, and – we got, uh, got along really well. We both had the same, uh, similar kind of ideas and motivations for the next two years, and we kind of were on the same page right away, and it really clicked. Yeah, and then um, obviously you've played against UT back in the spring. Um, had a good weekend. 
yeah. four hits, kind of a uh, little tongue in cheek. Has much of that success transfer over to fall live at bats? Um, you know, we haven't started uh, fall live at bats yet, but I'm hoping it will. Um, but like again, like I said that weekend, I was didn't let the moment get too big. You know, we're playing this big powerhouse team and great pitchers on the mound between Dolander, Burns, and Beam, and just kind of was was my own player. Let myself play and it contributed to some to some success and hopefully does the same this fall. You, you keep bringing up the idea of like being your own player. Like, how would you describe yourself as a player? Um, you know, I like to pride myself on my hard work. Like, I'm in the cages all the time, and I'm getting extra defensive work in, and um, I'm, I'm like more, I'm say more of a relaxed player, and I kind of just stick with my approach and uh, don't let the game get too big and kind of let the game come to me to an extent. Nice, and you know, uh, spending the summer in the Appy, first stop of fall scrimmages is going to be back up in the Appalachian League, Pioneer Park. Do you think that will be able to help uh, kind of familiarize yourself a little bit, or already being familiar with the ballpark in terms of getting comfortable in that first scrimmage? Oh yeah, that, uh, we played at that field this summer, and it was, it's a great complex and a great stadium, and I feel like having some, I had some success there over the summer, and like having that experience of playing there, and the atmosphere that that field brings in, and I feel like that'll help contribute to hopefully me being successful that day that we're there. Yeah, and then I, because of my own nerdiness, I went back and I looked at your numbers against Greenville mm -hmm. over the summer. I think you went six for 12. Yeah. Um, so uh, definitely some success at Pioneer Park yeah. in the past. Um, but, you know, talk a lot about success, what, you, what has happened. Um, like, what are your expectations to kind of finish off for both yourself coming into this spring as well as the ball club? No, I, um, we got a really good team here uh, so far this fall, and we're only going to get better as a group. And um, obviously the goal is to win a national championship, and I think we'll be more than capable of doing that as long as we stay together as a team and just play our game. And um, hopefully as a, I can be a contributor to getting us to Omaha, my home state, and uh, winning, winning that national championship and put another banner up. Is it a little bit of extra motivation because you know you grew up in, in Nebraska to try and get a team back to Omaha? Oh, definitely. It's always been a dream of mine to play in the College World Series and win it and have success there and be the re be a reason that we get to that point and win the national championship in Omaha. Yeah, I mean, that, that does it, about does it for me. Is there anything that I didn't ask that you'd want to touch on or anything? Not that I can think of. Right. Dalton Bargo, appreciate your time. Andrew Smith for Daily Beacon. Thank you.